I'm Hulk Hogan, the greatest wrestler of all time. We're not worthy. We're not worthy. Got space, man. Huh? No, actually, I'm a plumber. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I can't go anywhere without getting a boner. How you doing? I live my life. Woo! The Rock says, Sweet baby Jesus in the office. Hey, what's up, everyone? Welcome to Wrestle Rock Podcast. I'm your host, Nostradabin, and I will host this episode with my partner, Johnny D. Hey, how's it going, my friend? Today? Fine, fine, and you? Yes, I'm going super great. And you what? Uh, third generation wrestler, if I remember. Yes, we have a special guest today. He is a uh, uh, third or fourth generation. I mean fourth. third. I think third. Uh, he is a proud member of the famous Hawaii family, the son of Samu. And the grandson of Afa is also a um, cousin with uh, many uh, wrestling talent as uh, Rakishi, Tonga Kid, Yumago, Roman Reigns, and uh, The Rock, and Nia Jax, name it. So he is a former MLW wrestling tag team champion and a pro wrestling Noah superstars. Give it up for Lance and Hawaii. How's he going today, my friend? Uh, hey, I'm doing great, man. How about you guys? Thank uh, you yes, we me. are. Yes. Uh, Hi, very good. Yes, we are going super great. And uh, we know that you are very busy and you are you're traveling all around the world. So uh, this is awesome that you can accept our invitation uh, for uh, this uh, short interview. So uh, give it a Go on, my friend, for the first question. Yeah, we, we, we're not sure, but uh, it's a three or four generation. Uh, I'm actually a third generation. Okay, third, third generation. generation. Okay. Some I was people right. don't okay. consider me a fourth because they count High Chief Peter Maivia, but okay. I am technically third. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So all right, all right. So there's only, in my whole family, there's only uh, two third generation wrestlers. Okay. And it's myself and The Rock. Okay, okay, okay. nice, nice, nice. And... Um, um beside professional uh, wrestling what is your favorite sports uh so besides wrestling uh mainly my sports are right now as a adult i play uh softball nice and and all growing up uh baseball so before wrestling the uh baseball was my life all right so that's what right. that's what mainly got me into softball you know playing baseball for 15 plus years as wow. a kid and just growing up uh and then just as an adult, I, I couldn't keep up anymore. So just got into slow pitch softball. Perfect. And we don't forget you for uh, your request. Oh, uh, oh of course. Of uh, and uh, we will write an article about um, your you and your family. And if you can provide me the link for... Um, because uh, Mr. Anawaii... Um, uh, find um, a couples of uh, a found for is a softball uh, team. So uh, yeah, he will provide us uh, the link for if you want to deposit a couples and support uh, this um, <clears throat> the, the 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 softball team. So that will be very great. So sorry, yeah, it would be much appreciated. No, uh, we uh, <clears throat> yeah we travel. We're a traveling softball team. We travel Pennsylvania through New wow. York, Jersey, Florida. We're in. Uh, right now we're working on going to Las Vegas. Uh, oh, so nice. yeah, we're just a so we we're a traveling team. So once travels, man, you know things get expensive. <laughs> uh, I imagine. So go ahead, my friend. Yeah, of course. Uh, you were trained at the Samoa Wrestling Training Center by your dad Samu and your grandpa Afo Senior. During your wrestling training, do you think they spared you, or did they give you a hard time? Oh, they, they taught me just like everybody else, man. I didn't, I didn't get it easy. I probably got it even harder than the other guys because, uh, nice. you know, they want to they wanna push all of us to the best. But, you know, I come okay. from such a big, legendary family. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I got big shoes to fill. Uh, so I believe I was pushed all the way to my limits. Um, and then we're here uh, 14 years later going on in the ring. So, you know, I just love being a part of it, and I think – Thank them for pushing me and 
provided me with the right movements to make a career out of this. Mm -hmm. And uh, I remember that um, you made your wrestling debut in April 2010. Uh, can yes. you tell us about your uh, your first experience in a wrestling ring? Man, my first experience, like as a kid, I was always traveling with my father. I would okay. do little run-ins at seven years old okay. uh, oh. before there wasn't a Pennsylvania state commissioner. Uh, so there was no age limit. Now you have to be 18 to wrestle in the state of Pennsylvania. Okay. So at okay. the time, I, I would run, do run-ins with my father. I would hit 450 splashes at seven years old, <laughs> uh, stink faces, Bronco Buster, just uh, <laughs> yeah, people's elbow, man, just running around as a kid. Like I did a one spot uh, with my dad where I did a 450 splash, and then my dad just laid on top of me and covered me and act like I wasn't even there. Awesome. <laughs> so that was actually like my first little bit of getting in the ring. Uh, but in 2010, when I made my debut, man, it was awesome. Like it was unreal. You know, I'm just coming out to my own music, uh, mm -hmm. my own entrance, not following my father, like out to the ring. My father was actually following me to the ring. So it was pretty awesome. Uh, I got to wrestle one of our students. So, you know, sure. first match jitters, man, we kind of like rehearsed it beforehand. So I was kind of prepared and ready to go. It was just out in front of a live crowd now. Awesome. Okay, all right. Uh, you've you've had a few WWE tryouts. How did you get recruited to do them? Uh, this, so William Regal was a big part of my WWE okay. tryouts. You know, uh, every time I did extra work as like a rosebud, uh, I wrestled um, the Ascension on SmackDown. I wrestled mm -hmm. AOP, the author of Pain on NXT. Okay. Uh, so after all those times, uh, Re William Regal just liked everything, and he – I got an invite down to the performance center three times. So I've been down there 2015, 2017 and 2019. So every two years they brought me down in for an, another tryout. Um, and then from there, man, I just kind of just went, gave it my all. Unfortunately, they didn't have anything for me. Uh, but you know, the ball just keeps going, man. I just, we're in 2024 right now and I didn't stop them saying no, didn't stop me from performing and being the best I can be. I've toured Japan now. I'm packing, getting ready to leave for Australia. Wow. So I'm, I'm enjoying it. Wow, 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 wow. And you wrestle against uh, Shane McMahon's couples of years ago uh, <laughs> on the episodes of Raw. But unfortunately, Drew McIntyre gave you a, a, a tough time, you know. <sighs> um, uh, why didn't WWE uh, give you another wrestling opportunity? I'm just curious with that. Uh, WWE, after they gave me the opportunity, I thought big things were going to come. Uh, mm -hmm. Unfortunately, you know, the ball's in their hand. They're, they can do whatever. I guess they didn't like it or they came up with something else. I know the week after that, they had, um, after I did that debut, I believe it was Roman and Undertaker tagging versus Shane and Drew McIntyre, which I thought would have been an awesome spot for me and Roman to tag. But, hey, man, you know, <laughs> WWE does what they, what they do and – Yeah. Uh, I'm just blessed for that opportunity to even be in the ring with Shane and Drew McIntyre and then Roman coming out and making the save for me. So, you know, just blessed and happy that they thought about me for that spot and invited me. Of course. Um, okay, uh, uh, Lance, if my memory is good, your uh, first MLW match was against MGF? It was, yes. Ah, okay. Uh, do you consider him your, your toughest opponent? Who, MJF? Uh, no, big challenge. so when I wrestled MJF, my first match, uh, I believe it was like 2017 or 18. My memory's all off there, but oh, it man. was one of the, it, it was one of those years. So he was, uh, MJF was just kind of getting started. I knew where he trained. I knew, uh, who trained him, uh, which is Pat Buck and Kurt Hawkins. Okay. So I knew he was trained very well and right. Okay. So I had nothing to worry about and I knew MLW was pushing him to the top. And then now look where he is. He's one of the top guys at AEW. He's killing it. Um, I'm very happy that uh, he has that opportunity. But being a tough opponent, uh, I wouldn't consider he was very just like everybody else. Uh, he had his charisma. He's MJF. You know, how he acts in the ring is how he is in real life, too. So he lives his gimmick. <laughs> And I um, imagine during your uh, uh, one-month uh, period in Japan for the pro wrestling NOAA, I imagine that you probably res uh, wrestled against uh, the toughest uh, opponent right there. 
Yeah, man. <laughs> it's very so different I than against, uh, Japan's top out there, like uh, Nakajima, who just wrestled uh, Charlie Dempsey. Uh, I wrestled him a few times. Man, them kicks are just brutal. Uh, Go Shiyazaki, he has probably one of the hardest chops. My chest was all uh, <laughs> purple, man. So it, uh, I wrestled the strong style. But, you know, we give it right back, and it's all love at the end of the day. And um, about um, the EDD MLW Wrestling Promotion, you won the MLW Tag Team Championship with your partner, Juicy uh, Fino. I'm, I'm not sure. Fino. Fino. Okay. Fino. Do you yeah. consider this accomplishment one of the biggest accomplishments of your wrestling career? I do consider our MLW Tag Team, you know, uh, championship victory. Uh, one of the big uh, highlights in my career. Uh, yeah. It is the first title that I won under a major wrestling company, nice. which is Major League Wrestling. So, and then to be able to do it with my family by my side, you know, I had Juicy, who's basically part of the family. You know, we brought him in, we trained him, we re uh, he's bred it through us. Mm -hmm. uh, he's Tongan, uh, which is all part part of our Polynesians. Uh, and then, you know, right there, we got the big man, Jacob Fatu, man, who's killing it on the scene. He was there. And then along with my fiance, my kids, my father, my mother, my sisters, my nieces, my nephew, everybody was there for that moment. Nice. So, yeah, I would consider that probably one of the highlights of my career. And I thank MLW for everything they have done for me and my family. So let's, let's see what the future brings to me, man. Uh, that's awesome because uh, the MLW is a, a very a good promotion in U.S. And if my memory is good, that's the second generation of the MLW because uh, the vision was different in the past. And, yeah. and now it's uh, it's uh, more modern. And I think the, the, the MLW uh, logo changed. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah during the process and the uh, real start uh, yeah yeah exactly they, they changed it you know wrestling is a it changes yeah. a lot you know yes. the old mlw they used to be more like a ecw type of vibe exactly. uh like back in the day you know that's when my dad wrestled there my uncle maga wrestled there okay. um you had low-key steve carino yeah. the sats like everybody brian daniels everybody wrestled there and it was just a such huge stepping stone For everybody like you know yeah. they had tv deals now it's just even getting even bigger uh they're starting to travel now um they're they're gonna have a weekly show on uh i believe it's youtube they go live on fight network or fight tv mm -hmm. so it, it's actually a like a big step for them as everything grows nice Okay, uh, can we say that winning the Super Hate Tournament in uh, 2009 at ECW uh, put you on the map? So the 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 Super Hate Tournament, man, it was you know they they chose us. It was all second and third generation wrestlers uh, that tournament, and I was blessed to go over and win the tournament. So you know it proves to me that I'm one of the best generation wrestlers that's mm -hmm. out there. Because uh, you had guys like Brian Pillman Jr., you had the Von Erics in it, Colby Carino, um, who else? Uh, Briscoe, uh, Wes Briscoe was in it. Mm. Brian Pillman, yeah, I just the, the the list was just so big, man. Uh, <laughs> there was a lot of roster. Us. Yeah, yeah, Zabisco, man, it was just a lot of us in there, and then you had me and Brian Pillman Jr. in the finals. And, you know, after already wrestling three, four matches and you're going into that last match, man, you give it your all. And that's what I was able to do and come out on top. And, you know, a lot of people, big names won that award. They won the Super 8 tournament and be able to have my name etched right in there with them. Uh, I am thankful for. Uh, last year, you made your wrestling debut for Pro Wrestling Noah in Japan. Can you share your experience with us? Because uh, when we uh, we met you, Uh, in New Jersey, you mentioned me that you were in uh, in Japan, f not for the first time, you know. Uh, so that was my first time in Japan. Uh, I believe, yeah, I met you guys at uh, ISPW. I think, uh, I think was that that was my first show of returning. I okay. believe. Okay. 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 Back from Japan. Am I correct, or was it before I left? Uh, 
I think it's it's. I can't. It's, I, I can't. I came back in September. Okay. Okay. So. Okay. That, that 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 makes sense. So, can you share uh, this experience? Because I uh, I know that uh, Japan wrestling is very different than um, than the, the U.S. The American <laughs> style. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. and, uh, it's very different. Yeah, everything is different, man. Like being <laughs> in Japan, I, I lived out there for three months. Uh, okay, three months. Every, wow. Yeah, I was out there for three months. So. You know, it was tough to begin with, you know, being away from my fiance, my kids, my whole family. I know. Uh, you know, I'm just out there alone with the other guys uh, who's been touring Japan. And it was tough for me in the beginning. But, you know, as time goes on, man, shows start getting busier and then we were wrestling every week. Just time started flying. And the hardest part was that last week. You're just ready to go home and see everybody. And it just took the longest. But. Man, wrestling, that strong style, at first it was a little different, but, you know, after spending time out there, you get used to it, training with the guys. Um, so I think now I came back with a little stronger style of wrestling mm -hmm. I brought back with me, which I love and I think I'll hold with me for a long time. And I can't wait to go back and wrestle some of the greatest talents out there. Nice. Okay. Did you watch uh, the Royal Rumble? Uh, oh, week? yeah. So okay. Royal Rumble is my favorite pay per view. I don't miss that. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, we would like to hear you from you about uh, the men's Royal Rumble the twenty twenty four this past weekend and the segment involving your two cousins, Jay and Jimmy Usos. What is your reaction yeah. uh, and opinion about that? Man, right in the, the beginning, Rumble. man. Right in the beginning, man. You you know you just start right off with uh, Jimmy and Jay, man. You know uh, the chemistry just between them two. They were born together. They they wrestled their whole career with each other. So they know one another. And just to have them to start, man, I like to see a full match with them too, just to see how it goes, which I think they could main event WrestleMania. If you really want to, mm -hmm. um, they could go anywhere, you know, the sky's the limit for them too. And then, you know, at the end of it, uh, the man, the, the man came out on top once again for back to back winner, man. Uh, but I'm different. sorry, Cody Rose, but no story is getting finished. <laughs> uh, it's going to stay just, it's going to look just like it did last year, man. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. And uh, I'll give you uh, names in a few words. Uh, tell me something about him, right? Uh, Jacob Fatu. Man, a monster. Man, he's uh, right mm -hmm. now, he's killing the independent scene. Who knows where he's going next? You know, I, I'm seeing, I don't know 100%, but Jacob Fatu is a free agent. So yeah. he can sign wherever he wants, and the sky's the limit for him. And I'm happy to see him make his uh, New Japan debut not too long ago. Uh, I see he had over uh, half a million views on his footage. So, man, I hope for the best for him and his seven kids. The Legion of Doom. The Legion of Doom, man. Man, hard hitters. Uh, hearing stories from my dad about like okay. them two always just want to be paired off with each other because there was no complaining. There was just them two going at it uh, back in the day. You know, the head shrinkers, uh, well, I believe they worked each other as a Samoan SWAT team. Yeah. It was, man, it was just, my dad said those are one of his favorite guys to work. Nice. Bray Wyatt. Bray Wyatt, man. Wyndham, he is a, I don't have much uh, memory of him. Like I, I seen him like as extra work and, you know, he was always very nice and talked about coming to uh, the school and training whenever they're in the area. Mm -hmm. um, but as I hear stories, man, to me, he, he was a visionary. Like he, exactly. 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 he his character is what made him. And I believe he came up with the whole idea of everything he done, he's done. And just to bring it to life, man, uh, God yeah. rest his soul. And, you know, him, his wife, his kids, everybody. Mm -mm, yeah. He had good vision, good idea. And, innovator. Yes, innovator. Yeah. Uh, um, Samu, your dad. Samu, man. That, to me... Uh, that's my hero, man. You know, <laughs> nice. I look up to him my whole life, my whole career. Uh, without him, I wouldn't be here right now. So, you know, I have to give mm -hmm. him all the credit. And we got big things planned, man. Come WrestleMania week, uh, we will be releasing something very special, you know, father-son duo. So, you know, we haven't done that in a while. 
Uh, but we will be together, and uh, I can't wait to spend time with him again and, you know, make memories. <laughs> and the last one, uh, Lance Anoa'i, yourself. Uh, man, myself? Yeah. Oh, man. I want to say I'm a very humbled person, you know. I respect yeah. where I come from. I respect my family. I carry myself well, you know. Uh, just being part of such a big family. And, you know, when you go to a locker room, uh, you want to show everybody what it's all about. And I think mm -hmm. when I go, when I walk into a locker room, there's a presence. I bring uh, the love, the care, the sh like, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's just an emotion where basically I'm a, like a locker room leader of anywhere I go. You know, I've been doing this for 14 years now, so I'm more, I'm considered a vet, but I don't feel like one, man. I'm, I'll be 32, <laughs> I'll be 32 years old soon. <laughs> uh, yeah. So I'm young. So I don't really feel it, man. I'm in this locker room. Sometimes. I'm, I'm in the locker room and sharing a ring with like these 20 year olds. And I just feel, I feel old, but then I feel young at the same time. So, um, I just feel, yeah, I'm very humbled of where I come from and how I carry myself. You seem to have a good values. That that that's a that's not for everybody, but uh, that's a a good thing uh, for you. Well, uh, for ending, thank you so much for uh, this uh, 20 minutes interview. And as usual, oh no, my worries. partner um, Benoit, aka Nostradamus Ben. It's all about the French <laughs> prophet. And we will try to uh, to uh, predict the future of our guests. Go ahead, my friend. Yeah, first uh, first of all, Lance, thank you so much for the interview. It was huge, oh, amazing. Yeah, it was a uh, pleasure. No, thank you. Okay, I predict to you uh, and your family, of course, a movie about uh, an Hawaii family. <laughs> oh like yes, the, like the Von Eric and uh, like the Von Erics, yes. And I hear that they're talking about possibly doing a Guerrero one. So. Uh, uh, you know, You know, we're uh, kind of missing yeah. the Anawais, man. I think we definitely need a – I don't even think a movie is good enough. I think we need a whole TV sh series with, oh, yeah. with a lot of series going on because mm -hmm. if you do one movie, you might as well make <laughs> a few of them right away. And why not a WWE tryout? Oh, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe in the future. Yeah. You know, like I'm – Like I said, I'm a free agent. The sky's the limit. Uh, hopefully, yeah. you know, a big company will give me the opportunity, like WWE, uh, New Japan, AEW, even yeah. TNA, man. TNA is on such a rise right now, and oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'll take any opportunity I get, and I'm ready to go and kill it. A wrestling world is very ilty, so uh, that's uh, that's uh, good for every wrestling talent uh, currently, so... Uh, We push that this in uh, the universe, you know. Uh, thank you so much for the interview. Uh, it was a. Um, we are very grateful that you can uh, accept uh, our invitation for sure. Of course, thank you guys so much for having me. Glad we were able to get this through and make it all happen, man. All right, take care, my friend. Goodbye. Yep. Thank you, man. <laughs>